here it is dirt floor motors again and I made a little progress since last time got things about 90 percent ready um, got everything major hooked up still gotta do carburetor and hook up the throttle and all that stuff and got the brake hooked up and the clutch is on but I don't know how close it is to being adjusted I guess I'll find that out real fast so hadn't torqued the head yet need to put oil in it but uh, just got it to where I can close it up tonight because the roof leaks you can see holes everywhere and uh, had a little bit of problems but figured it out it'd be interesting to see how this one runs because I've never heard this motor run I made a few improvements over the last thing I took a old ignition cable not ignition cable, a battery cable off of a Model T frame and I'm using that as a ground to uh, bring the ground up from the battery to the bell housing and that seems to make starters turn over better especially with the 6 volt but um, it's kind of dark in here it's been raining and I was going to video earlier but the rain was pounding on the tin roof so hard that uh, I just didn't even try. But on this one now, I put the uh, I had some old engine pans that I got from a guy when I was at Luray last fall. He had them, and that one looks like it might be a reproduction one because it wasn't beat up or rusted or gunked up with grease. But uh, the driver's side, it's got to be an original because it had like an eighth of an inch of grease and dirt road on it. And it was all bent up, but I finally got it to fit. So we're getting close. It won't be too long before we have a first start of that motor. And uh, I'll be glad to be done with it, tell you the truth.